there has been some several secret features that have been added to ChatGPT that many people haven't actually realized. In today's video, we'll do a quick deep dive on these features and why you should be paying attention because this secret update is a lot bigger than most people do realize. And when you hear Sam Altman's conversation, you're going to understand exactly why. So one of the tweets that I saw recently that was fascinating was this tweet by testing a catalog dot ETH. And essentially, it tweets about the personalization aspect of ChatGPT. Now, if you're familiar with this, you'll know that previously there was a slightly different user interface for this, and it was a different text box. But there is also a new text box where you can see in the personalization tab. Now, I must add that this personalization is only rolling out to a select few because when OpenAI tends to test things, they test it out in certain batches and they do it randomly. So I don't think there's a specific way you can sign up. Sometimes they do have the ability for you to test beta features, but features like this that are quite rare and haven't fully been fleshed out yet do randomly appear in some people's accounts and of course do appear in sometimes in other accounts. So you can see here that you it says improve responses with your chats. ChatGPT will become more helpful as you chat, picking up on details and prefer to tailor its responses to you. To understand what ChatGPT remembers or to teach it something new, just say, remember that I like concise responses. I just got a puppy. And what do you remember about me? And where did we leave on my last project? Now, if you remember recently, there was a new update after the GPT store launch, and there was a very small blog post about this feature. Now I can't find the exact post, but essentially what they are doing is they are actually rolling out this feature because there were tweets by like Greg Brockman and some other OpenAI employees that do confirm that this is 100% a real thing. So it's not something that is going to be going away because some of the comments made by Sam Altman in a recent interview with Bill Gates prove that this is the gradual updates that they were talking about and this is where they're going to be leading towards. Now, something additionally that I did see, you know, from this screenshot that I will leave a link to in the description below is of course the manage memory feature. So you can see right here that it says, as you chat with ChatGPT, the details and preferences it remembers will be shown here. So it seems like we're going to be able to see exactly the details that ChatGPT is managing to pick up on us. And that means that we're going to be able to see just how much information ChatGPT is remembering from our conversations and what kind of things it thinks about us. Because if it does get some things wrong, we could then go ahead and delete them and of course, edit them. So I think being able to visualize what this AI system knows about you is very, very good because it allows you to see if it's working correctly, if it manages to remember certain things based on certain conversations, or if it manages to even infer certain things from your conversations. And I think that would be an interesting concept as well. Now, if you're confused about this memory thing and you're thinking, wait a minute, I've seen this before. I've actually seen the memory thing before. This is because likely what you've seen is an earlier iteration of this screenshot. So I have this tweet from Tiba Blaho, and this was a screech a video recording of what we saw from an early iteration from OpenAI in terms of this memory management system. I'm not sure if they're using this at the same time now, but in November, we did get to see something like this. And you can see that there are several things that the user is currently able to do from this system. Now, like I said, I think I did have this for a moment, but it has now disappeared. And we're now starting to see this different user interface rolled out. But of course, you can see this personalization area has, you know, been changed a little bit. And I think this is why, you know, we're still getting delays on the next model, whether it be GPT 4.5 or GPT 5, because certain things like memory that we currently are seeing on screen now are currently being you know, just wait it out. And we're seeing what is, of course, the most effective method of doing this, because there are many different, you know, things that we can do with the system. So I'm guessing they're waiting to see what is the more effective. And of course, you can see right here, the temporary chat not in history, blank state and no model training is something that was there before. Now, this was kind of fascinating, because even before this leak, there was essentially someone that just viewed the source code of the web page. And then we were essentially able to see that. And I think that that is kind of interesting that ChatGPT and OpenAI do kind of add these things in. But one thing that I do want to show you guys before I continue talking about all of these new memory updates is this interview, because in this interview, and you may have seen this interview, but there is a specific clip in which Sam Altman talks about the 
next two years of chat gpt and the reason this video is really important is because this shows us where we're going for chat gpt and at the time i didn't connect the dots in this interview that he did with bill gates but now it makes more sense because in this interview he basically says that look we're leading towards personalization where it's going to remember stuff and be much more customizable and then of course we do have things like personalization being rolled out so it's clear that although the name might not be changed from GPT-4 to GPT-4.5 just yet, it's clear that smaller and smaller iterations are being loaded onto this system as a gradual update. But take a listen to this clip because I think it's really important for us to listen to Sam and then of course I will show you guys um, some more because they know that if they release GPT-5 and it's a shocker in terms of capability, it's going to cause some, I guess you could say, potentially some societal unrest. But what Sam Altman has talked about was the fact that they need to release things very, very gradually. And of course, adding things like, you know, managing your memory and the personalization is a very good way to do that. So this is where Sam Altman talks about the fact that, you know, we're going to be basically gradual kind of updates. One of the things that we believe very deeply is that society and this technology have to co-evolve. Um, it, it, we believe in iterative deployment a lot for the obvious reason, which is that people need time to gradually update and think and figure out what the rules should be. But there's another part, which is it's it that you can't separate the technology from the world. You can't just, even if you get everything magically right, you can't build it in secret and then put it in the world all at once because the world is going to keep changing with each iteration, which means on those middle cases, I don't know what the right answer is yet, nor does anyone, because no one has really like thought through and seen how the, the institutions and the world and society ch shift and reshape in, in response to this. So there'll be a lot of things that we'll have to... This is why we know that the iterative deployment is going to be a thing. So one thing that I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be making sure that I do take a look at every single thing that is going on with ChatGPT in terms of these small updates. So one way that I'm going to be doing that is I'm going to be making sure that I scour Twitter and Reddit to see if there are any instances of new things just slowly being rolled out because this stuff is fascinating in terms of, you know, it shows us the entire direction that we're moving because like I said before, it was very evident that the ChatGPT system was just a base test for a very larger AI system and